Hey everyone, just a few hours ago, we got some interesting info about Capitano and Colina, and I have to admit, it's a bit suspicious. We'll also dive into the Primo Gem counts and rewards you can save up before Mavuika arrives, so stick around because we're covering Capitano and Colina's leaks along with all the Primo Gem sources and free polls you can gather, including new events, a map expansion, a seven-day login event, and other rewards. If you're planning to pull from Mavuika or just want to stack Primo Gems, this video is for you. Patch 5.2 Primo Gems Breakdown. Let's kick things off by calculating the Primo Gems we can expect in Patch 5.2. Starting with the usual rewards, daily commissions. We'll get 2,520 Primo Gems for 42 days of commissions. Paimon Shop Reset. The shop resets twice in 5.2, totaling 10 free pulls. Spiral Abyss. Clearing challenges should net around 800 Primo Gems. Imaginary Room Theater Event. A hefty 1,600 Primo Gems. Game Maintenance. Standard Maintenance Rewards will add 600 Primo Gems, plus 300 Primo Gems from the Redemption Code during the 5.3 livestream. Character Trials. Another 80 Primo Gems. Adding up the permanent and recurring rewards, we're looking at about 7,500 Primo Gems for Patch 5.2. New Events and Content Rewards. Now, let's talk about the new content in 5.2. Main Event and four smaller events. Together, they should give us around 2,540 Primo Gems. New Quest. Expect 760 Primo Gems from the Storyline Quest. Map Expansion The new Natlan region will bring in around 1,300 Primo Gems, based on beta details. Achievements and Hidden Achievements The expansion and achievements should add up to 300 Primo Gems. Natlan's new offering system should yield another 800 Primo Gems. Summing up the new content rewards, we can expect about 5,875 Primo Gems in 5.2. And with 60 Primo Gems from Redeem Codes, the grand total for 5.2 comes to 13,435 Primo Gems, or 84 pulls. If you're a Welkin Moon user, you can reach around 17,635 Primo Gems, or 110 pulls. Not bad at all. Primo Gems in Patch 5.3. Before Mavuika's banner ends with Mavuika coming in, Patch 5.3 will have even more time to save up. Let's calculate what you can collect in 5.3 Phase 1. Daily Commissions. We'll get 1,140 Primo Gems over the 19 days in Phase 1 main event estimated to reward around 900 to 1,000 Primo Gems. One small event. This should bring in another 420 Primo Gems. Now for the biggest Primo Gem sources in Phase 1 of 5.3. Lantern Rite Login Event. A 7-day login event will give 10 free pulls. Lantern Rite Mail. Gift Hoyoverse will likely send 1,600 Primo Gems. 10 pulls through in-game mail during the event. Combining all sources, 5.3 Phase 1 should net around 5,660 Primo Gems or 35 pulls. Total Primo Gems before Mavuika's release. All in all, if you're saving Primo Gems from 5.2 through 5.3 Phase 1, you should have approximately 19,095 Primo Gems or 119 pulls. This gives F2P players a solid chance to guarantee Mavuika. I believe in your luck and I'm sure some of you will pull off a few early pity wins. Let me know in the comments what you're saving for and if you're excited about Mavuika or other character you might be saving for. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily Genshin news.